The movie Boyhood, nominated for six Oscars Sunday, shines the spotlight on Texas filmmaking. And whether that light continues to shine could depend on what happens in director Richard Linklater's hometown of Austin. Not in the studio, in the State House. Here's Channel 8's Ron Corning. This might look like just a little house tucked away in North Austin, but it is iconic as its tenant is just coming to realize. And there were a bunch of people out here and there was cameras. It's the house you see toward the beginning of Boyhood as the young family heads out the front door. Filmmaker Richard Linklater shot the movie entirely in Texas. Hey Richard, thanks for yes. keeping Austin weird. <laughs> we're, we try. Action. Austin is the heart of Texas filmmaking, and the state is boosting business, offering incentives to filmmakers who set up shop here and hire mostly Texans. Last session, it was $95 million. Governor Greg Abbott wants to keep that going this session with at least $70 million, but it's still early. Representative Angie Chen Button of Richardson chairs the House Select Committee on Economic Development. That's my responsibility to take a fresh look on all the key incentives. We need to really take this task seriously. But Representative Matt Rinaldi of Irving calls incentives corporate welfare. That it could be better spent on our other needs, such as schools, roads, um, the teacher's retirement fund. It's bad optics, it's bad policy. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! Ironically, Boyhood did not benefit from incentives. Filming started in 2002 before funding kicked in. No one appreciates the need more than Rebecca Campbell. She's the head of the Austin Film Society, which Linklater founded. If you want film in your state, you have to play this game. Whether you agree with it or not, it's just a reality. Plenty of Texas-based stories head east to Louisiana, where incentives are a permanent fixture. Everything but your husband is going to be fine. The new Reese Witherspoon, Sofia Vergara film shot with the working title Don't Mess With Texas was filmed there. The Dallas of Dallas Buyers Club was actually New Orleans. There's so much infrastructure now in Louisiana. There's so many more sound stages than what we have here. Um, so many more facilities. And so now it's kind of theirs to lose and it's ours to steal back. Which brings us back to that little house in North Austin. It's great to be in this little teeny tiny bubble of uh, Austin fame. Time will tell if that bubble will burst. Ron Corning, Channel 8 News.